Hello crafters and welcome to season three of Peter P Craft Presents brought to you by From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Shows. Now I'm your host Michelle Brown and I'm the creative director at From Picture to Page which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper crafts community. Now Peter P Craft presents a whole heap of demonstrations with our talented retailers and some guest artists. So for all the details of season three as well as to catch the replays and to get in touch with our retailers head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au where you can see all of the season three videos and catch up on all season one and season two as well. We've got like 30 or 40 different videos there and there's something for everyone. We cover scrapbooking, we cover card making, we cover mixed media, art journaling, all the paper crafts are covered. Now while you're over at our website, make sure you're on our email list and at the end of each week, we send out a summary of who's been on and how you can get in touch with them and also to let you know what's coming up. Now while you're here watching Peter P Craft Presents, whether you're here live on Facebook, watching us through YouTube or on a replay, we wanna know that you're there. So pop in the comments, say hi, and if you've got any questions, pop them there and we will do our very best to answer them. And I can see we've got Tracy there and Tammy and Lorraine, so welcome all. We're really looking forward to today's chat. So today, Peter P Craft Presents a paper experience. Hello, Kerry. Hi, Michelle. It's so good to have you here. Now, a paper experience has been around for a while. Um, where did the name come from? Um, well, as you would imagine, we love all things paper <laughs> and we want to share it with everyone. Mm -hmm. um, we believe that there's a time for paper for all those wonderful celebrations throughout life. Card making is our second love and we're <laughs> always on the lookout for some of those wonderful innovations from the worlds of paper craft. Uh, so we saw beautiful papers, great ribbons, wonderful bling, and all those DIY decoration-making paraphernalia that's out there mm -hmm. through Australian wholesalers mm -hmm. um, to bring them to all the people who love paper craft. Oh, excellent. Um, we also run workshops to show just what wonderful creations you can easily make. So for the name, in this digital age, which is bringing <laughs> us this medium, and that's wonderful, we still want people to have a paper experience. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, excellent. And so how long have you been card making for? Um, I've been card making for a really long time. <laughs> um, as long as, Just about as long as I can remember. It started with Christmas cards. Mm -hmm. Always used to make our own Christmas cards. Oh, and I remember the days where you had to go to the art shops and buy enormous pieces of oh. card be able to get red and green right and all those sorts of things and now it's just so amazing what you can get yeah oh so that must have been quite a struggle taking those full sheets and cutting them down to an a5 <laughs> size yeah so i had one of those wonderful paper cutters and the metal ruler from <laughs> a very young age ah, and what were some of the first um images and sentiments you were using obviously um the good old christmas tree things like that, and I remember cutting out shapes and you just try to find all sorts of things. But uh, bizarrely, some of the first shapes I used were cookie cutters and oh, you draw okay. around mm -hmm. the cookie cutter yep. and then cut it out. Ah, so, so coming into cutting dies, in and, cutting dies and punches are a fantastic experience. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and it just is amazing the millions and millions of designs that you can get nowadays. Yeah. It makes it very difficult to choose. It can be, can't it? And I think sometimes if you've got a really good Christmas card design, there's no reason why you can't cycle it through every few years and just tiz it up a bit. Oh, I can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, I always look for something new. <laughs> Not that I don't. Um, we always try and look for new ways to use our existing dies, and I, I do you know, really push that mm -hmm. because um, you know we have so many wonderful things. But Christmas, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that just has to be unique for me. Uh, fair enough. And when do you start on your Christmas cards? Um, pretty early, depending upon how complex I get. Um, but my husband does get very sick of the table being set up in front of the TV <laughs> in the lounge room for at least the last, you know, part of November. So, right. um, yeah, right. pretty early. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And so do you tend to make cards any other time of the year? All the time, yeah. all the time. But um, I'm very lucky in that we do do classes to help people uh, learn new things so consequently i'm always looking at samples and making samples and doing new things so i'm making cards 
all throughout the year. Oh, and I have a couple of pen friends uh -huh. and they are card makers and we send each other cards on a regular basis. Oh, how lovely. So and I get to see new designs as well. Yeah, and whereabouts in the world are your pen friends? I have um, one in – my main one is in New Zealand mm -hmm. and we write every week just oh. to make a new card and send mm -hmm. a new card. But I also have a pen friend in Denmark who I send things to and one in England. Yeah. Oh, lovely. And there's something about having – that expectation from someone else to know that, well, yeah. I better get up and get a card made today. They'll be waiting for me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But also the expectation of receiving one is wonderful. Yeah, fantastic. And so what's sort of your favourite embellishment at the moment? Oh, <laughs> I was unprepared for that one. Oh, um, sorry, you mentioned you had know. ribbons <laughs> and other bits and pieces. I know, I know. And I love bling. I really love bling. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I have a friend who says that bling was invented to cover up mistakes, and she's quite right. <laughs> but uh, you, can, you can get all sorts of things, you know. It, it really is wonderful. But, um, yeah, die cut. We do a lot of die cut um, decorations, but mm -hmm. then you've just got to have that bit of bling at the end. Yeah, exactly. So what bit of bling and what are you sharing with us today, Kerry? Okay, today we're sharing this wonderful... Stand up oh, butterfly card. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's so, so clever, Kerry. Bit of bling on there. Mm -hmm. Bit of bling on that one. Mm -hmm. And on this one, of course, if you're butterfly mad, we even have butterfly bling. No way. Oh my goodness. It also folds flat, so mm -hmm. you can post it. Yep. Like the practical. <laughs> yes, definitely. We have to be practical these days, don't we? Excellent. Well, yeah, I'll get you, let you get set up, and we'll get started. Okay. Excellent. So hello, Lorraine. Hello, Joanne. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Helen. I'm so glad that you've joined us today. We are really excited to have Carrie from Paper Experience because she is doing really well with these card kits. And sometimes that makes it really easy as well so that we don't have to sort of think too much about our own designs, that we can log into her creativity and get started. So I think Carrie is nearly ready to go. No, you're right. You let me know when. <laughs> Okay, you think we're ready? Okay, we'll hand it to you. No, you're right, Kerry, take it away. And you fold them back. One side you fold forward again and that would create a little ridge that you can pop your butterfly up on later. So moving on to the front two pieces, we use the next sized butterfly down and then the one following that. So the next two down. And I'm just going to give a shout out at this point to my friend Jean, my partner in crime, who is doing the video for us. So the top two butterflies you pop inside your embossing folder and run that through together. So you have two embossed pieces. Coming back to your base card, you're going to pop a piece of 
double-sided tape on the inside of the top, so the two smallest wings. medium-sized butterfly over the top, lining up the indents between the two wings. Fold it forward and fold the butterfly backwards, and that gives you your little stand-up base. Here comes the bling. Can't forget that bling. So you use the small butterfly Place your bling on the top. Put your double-sided tape down the middle and you line it up over your the centre of your medium butterfly again, lining up those indents in the wings. Inside, we're using our sentiment stickers. These are from Craft Creations. And that way, you can put the sentiment inside and also write inside so that your, your little message is private. There you go. Array, you've done. <laughs> it's a pretty quick and pretty easy, um, and as I say, folds flat. Plus, you can do some variations. We use three different colours for the middle one, and in the second one, we put some creator, uh, decorative paper on it. So I just want to do a shout-out at the end to my dear friend Janine Rawlins, who taught this design to me many, many years ago. Uh, but I believe the original design was from Bromwyn Eastley. So we hope you enjoyed that. It was a little fast and furious, but, of course, Michelle's recording, so you can um, go back to... Yeah, we can definitely go back. Okay, I'll give you a minute to get yourself back ready to go. Okay. Okay, and then, yes, we've got you back. Excellent. <laughs> I think our technology mostly worked. That's good. Yes. Sorry for that. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. I think we might have had a glitch at our end as well, but not to worry. Well, like I said, we're here live, so we'll keep going. So that was really a this is a really simple but cute card. And like you said, using those different sizes in the same colour gives you a really interesting effect. Yeah, it's a great, great one. And um, you can use any nesting dies. Obviously, you don't have to use butterflies, but the butterflies do have a lovely effect. Yeah, and I like that that um that technique of actually folding the card and then cutting it so it gives you a hinge on one end. That um yes, opens up all right. sorts of possibilities with your yeah. designs. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Lots cool. of different designs you can use for it. Yeah, excellent. Now, you mentioned you had some classes on at the moment. That's right. So, yes, we're using the uh, wonderful technology of Zoom and uh, every month I'm doing a kit and um, then we're having a free Zoom class. So if you buy the kit, the mm -hmm. monthly kit, um, you can join in free on a Zoom class, which means we just go through the instructions. You get the full instructions in, in your kit, mm -hmm. but um, it's nice sometimes to be able to talk it through and ask questions. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. And when's the next one that's coming up? It's coming up on the 19th, mm -hmm. so Saturday and Sunday on the of. Um, 19th and 20th and I've just got a I'll just share my screen if mm -hmm. I can get this to work again <laughs> what share screen look at it it's not behaving it's not behaving today sorry is it? <laughs> I'll give stop it sharing <laughs> give it another go I have got it open yep. so I don't know why it won't share there it is there we go. Okay, I'm not seeing it this. Oh, yes, just give it a minute. Okay, hang on. I'll cut back to you. Okay, yep, now we can see. Okay. So uh, these are some of the classes that we've done 
in the past. Uh, we did gatefold and pop-up gatefold, a see-through acetate card. Last month we did boy theme because, of course, tomorrow is Father's Day oh. and we did this arrow card. This month we're doing um, flower pots. Oh. So these slide in and out to hide your message underneath, but they're very cute flower pots. Oh, lovely. And so can people still buy those kits and come along to the next class? Yes, yes, they can. And, in fact, I've put together, like any picture-to-page um, show that we would be part of, a kit for people to do the, the stand-up butterfly card as well. So you get the dies, the embossing folder, and uh, sentiment stickers in it. We've outdone ourselves, and it's 30% off instead of our usual 25 So Oh, excellent. Thank you, Carrie. People can get that as well. Excellent. So you just need to come into cards and kits in our um, in our website. Uh-huh. Oh, excellent. So cards and kits, and, yeah, we'll make sure the link is somewhere near this video as well so everybody can find it. Thank you. That's fantastic. And so how often are these classes being run? Uh, we do them every month. Mm -hmm. We've been doing them every month. Normally we'd have classes face-to-face -face and um, obviously now we need to come up with something in order to be able to see each other and, you know, get together. So it's yeah, wonderful to yeah. still see our regulars um, and are very appreciative of those who have been supporting us and coming on a regular basis. So it's generally on the second or third weekend um, mm -hmm. of the month, depending upon... Um, timing of other things. Ah, lovely. And you said you had some other things going on as well. That was the, the classes. Oh, no, yes, I remember. Sorry. Yes. Um, well, to give back to everyone who has supported us, we created a little section in our blog called Boredom Busters. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. since May, um, when we started this up, we've put in a free tutorial so you can go in there and uh, find, find since May, all the cards that we've put up uh, for free. So full tutorials there. There's pictures to, so that you can see. This month we've got a Japanese fan, which is really lovely. Um, love some Japanese papers. and mm -hmm. But you can use any decorative paper. I'm sure we've got some Japanese paper there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. But any decorative paper yeah. will do it. And some of that, what's the cord, like that Japanese cord that you quite often, I'm sure I've got some of that somewhere too. Yes, rat tail. We call it rat tail. Mm. But, yeah, that beautiful silk, long silk. Yeah. Cord. Oh, I love the idea of boredom busters. That's such a great idea. Thank you. Yeah. We, we wanted to give back to people and um, really, you know, put it out there. So there's some fun cards in there. <laughs> and you can use them with anything. You don't have to have specific um, dies or anything you can use any decorations that you've got yeah excellent excellent so is there anything else you needed to tell us um i don't think so what else have i got on my list mm -hmm. you can find us in caulfield in melbourne mm -hmm. yes we are in stage four lockdown but hopefully tomorrow we'll find out that we aren't for too much longer um but yes we are online at um a paper mm -hmm. And um, happy to be in touch with anybody if they are looking for something in particular or um, something that we can get them. Yeah, you can reach out. Excellent. Well, Kerry, thank you so much for joining us and bringing a paper experience to us today. Thanks for having us, Michelle. We've been really happy to be here. Uh, excellent. We'll see you soon. <laughs> excellent. So I hope you really enjoyed that little tutorial. And I did think that butterfly card was really cute. So again, it does show different ways you can use your dies. And as Kerry said, a little bit of bling just really does pull a project together. So if you'd like to see that kit, and of course, watch the video again, head over to the Paper Experience website and check out all the other things Kerry's doing as well, as well as that flower pot cast. I think I might check that one out as well. And of course, check out her boredom busters for some further inspiration. So, of course, to see this again, to get all the links, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au and make sure you give us a like, share us with your crafting friends and continue to share our crafting inspiration. So this is Michelle signing off. We hope you have a crafty day.